In this video, I am going to explain to you how do you represent rational numbers on a number line. Okay, and forget the number line that have been reflected here. First, let's focus on the number. So the number that you have been given is minus 8 by 5. Okay, whenever you're given such form of a rational number, the first thing you should do is you should actually write them in the form such that, you know, you have a whole number and then you have a fraction. Something like this. You have 2, 3 by 4. Okay, now minus 8 by 5 can actually be written as minus 1, 3 upon 5. Isn't it? Because 5 times minus 1 is minus 5, right? And then 3 minus 8 upon 5. Once you have done this, the first step that you should do is you should find out what is the scale on the number line. Okay, since you have a minus, what I will do is I will have 0 here, 1 here, 2 here, 3 here. I have minus 1 here, minus 2 here, minus 3 here. I need the minus sign in this particular case because the overall number is negative. Then what I do is between these numbers, okay, between these numbers, I divide them equally in such a manner that my denominator is there because 3 by 5, let's, let's look at it for a minute. 3 by 5 means what? It means 3 out of 5, right? So effectively, I need to just divide this number. So 1, 3 by 5 means what? It is more than 1. When I say 1, I mean minus 1. So if it is more than minus 1, it should lie on this side, on the left-hand side, right? And how much does this represent? It represents 3 out of 5. So what I do is I first divide the numbers between 1 and 2, minus 1 and minus 2, into 5 equal parts, okay? Let's say in this case I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and fifth one is this, right? Now what this does is then when I count 3 from here, 1, 2, 3, this number or this point basically represent 3 out of these 5. So this point is actually, if I just put it like this, 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Out of these five part, I have to have three out of five. And since it's a negative number, I would not go towards the right. I would move from left, from this number towards the left. And I'll count three. One, two, three. So this basically represents three by five, minus three by five as such. One was here. Since minus one, three by five is more than one, I will just point out that this is the point where minus eight by five lies. Now this one was a little uh, difficult in the sense that you know uh, you don't get daily the negative numbers. Let's look at the second one. The second one says 2, 3 by 4. Now 2 is positive so I don't need to draw this negative number line. I simply point out 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now between these numbers if I see the denominator 4 on the numerator 3 this implies 3 out of 4 right so this number should lie between 2 and 3 right between 2 and 3 it means 3 out of 4 so what I do is I divide this area between 2 and 3 into 4 equal parts 1 2 3 and the fourth one is this and where does this lie this lies as 3 out of 4 now please note this is positive right when it was negative 3 by 5 I moved towards the left when it's positive I moved towards the right so 1, 2, 3, 3 out of 4. So this point or this what is represented here should represent 2, 3 by 4.